All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to collect credit card payments as well as direct bank transfer, which is free. In the last video, I stated that it's always best to receive check or cash, but sometimes it's just not that convenient. A lot of places, uh, they don't accept credit cards. They don't like to pay that uh, 3% merchant services fee. Or a lot of times they do, but they have like a minimum. You go into a mom and pop place, $10 minimum, $15, $20 minimum, because every time you swipe that, Merchant services takes the the three percent could be thirty cents, fifty cents. Uh, big transactions could be dollars, and at the end of the month, that adds up. Long story short, they take three dollars per transaction, three ish. Um, a lot of businesses that cash only, they don't pay that, and it's easier to hide paying taxes. You could pay a lot less if you accept cash. You didn't hear that from me. Let's get into it. Back to the situation at hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new invoice from the top. I'm in sales and invoices right here. Select a customer. We've been using a couple of uh, fake customers throughout the last couple uh, videos, product and services, the bronze package. I don't know, what was this? The full car wash with two layers wax coating. Free bank transfer, pretty self-explanatory. You put in your bank account number and your routing number and credit cards, here's our 3%. We're gonna set both of these up. Let's get set up. So let's just go ahead and click send and save. It's gonna send us to this link anyways, get set up. Set up takes a few minutes. Send and save, bottom right. Make sure you have the correct email in here. That is how they are gonna get noticed that you did something for them, product or service wise, and now you want your money. Give me my money now. Subject this and that, online payments, yes. Free bank transfer, and it's good too because a couple of years ago QuickBooks did charge 50 cents per bank transfer. And that happens in what, a couple business days? This happens almost instantaneously. Well, it's they front the money to you, but it really doesn't go through for a couple of days. It, it gives you the benefit of the doubt though. Don't focus on what I just said. Click on send and close. Now it's gonna take us to here we go, invoice, finish, set up. We do have a bank already set up. Larry's Hot Dogs, this and that, we're good to go. How much do you think you'll be processing monthly? Less than five grand? Yeah, that's fair to say. We are a small business, but next year we're gonna be a huge business. Click on next right there, no. Fill in all this stuff, I'm gonna fast forward the video. You're gonna fill out that information, it's gonna ask for your EIN, make sure you have that. And then it's going to take you to this. We're going to fast forward again. All right. So when we get past the first two forms we fill out, now we're at our bank. Add your bank account number. I'm just going to do my, I'm going to grab the first check I'm looking at right here. I'm going to fast forward this part. Bank account number goes right here. Routing goes right here. It's going to take a second or two. Wait for a moment while you look at your info. There's no easy way to do this. Okay, so I got this right here because I did use some of my personal information. It did throw it back. I haven't seen this before because on my real QuickBooks online, I did not use my personal information or fictitious information. This looks a little bit uh, fishy though, but that's kind of it. Once you're done with that, it'll verify it and you will be allowed to click on payments up here. Mine does not show up. Sorry that this video might not doesn't look like this on your end, but if you do use your correct information, you will have the option to send uh, uh, credit card invoices. That's it. Hope, hopefully this video made sense. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. That's it. Good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about receiving payments and collecting 50% upfront and 50% cash on delivery. Thanks so much for watching guys.